Welcome back to Fox and Friends. We have a Fox News alert. President Biden now en route to Uvalde, Texas, where in just a few hours, he will meet with devastated families after last week's school massacre. Well, the far left wasting no time, of course, politicizing the issue about gun control. As our next guest says, mental health, family breakdown, other major factors that need attention. Joining us now right here in Charlotte is Virginia Lieutenant Governor Winsome Sears. Good morning, Lieutenant Governor. Great to Good have morning. you. Good morning. Good to be here. We are here to honor our fallen men and women. And, of course, we are here to also honor those left behind, the Gold Star families. Yeah. So this is a solemn time for us. And here we are also honoring little children and the teachers and the families. You know, just can't imagine that. Yeah, it's just almost un. It's just, we can't even fathom it. It's just, yeah. I think we've interviewed so many people on it. I had two moms on earlier today, and they just seem so overwhelmed. It uh, is. It, it, they, they didn't even know what to say. And they, they're saying, though, that school safety has now gone up to the top of their list, mm -hmm. um, maybe even above inflation mm -hmm. um, for their concerns coming up. Your thoughts on yeah. school safety? You know, I had three children go home ahead of me. It's that knock on the door that the sheriff comes and they tell you that your daughter is, is dead and your other granddaughter is dead and the other one is on life support. So I have a different sense of it. Uh, but there, so these parents did not have an opportunity to say goodbye. And that hurts even worse, you know. And what we do need are school resource officers, these safety officers. And in our budget in Virginia, which I have not seen yet, and hopefully we'll see before June 1st when we're gaveled back into session, uh, the governor, Governor Yunkin, has put in there $50 million for school resource officers. And, you know, folks on the other side that he was uh, causing, you know, a militarized schooling, you know, and our children are going to be afraid. No, no. This is why we need it. Mm. Let's stop making this political. I, I, I hate when folks just take a crisis and just, you know, put all kinds of filth and vile into it just to score electoral points. It's, it, it, they're burning their own house down, and the house is America. We have to come together. Lieutenant Governor, I'd love to follow up on that. Just from a logistical standpoint, we've talked various times about the funding of, of protecting our schools. You talked about the money going there in Virginia. I'm curious. Um, there's so much COVID funding that has been dedicated to the states and then into yes. school districts. How does that, can that, if, it, if it's a hurdle, if money is a hurdle, if it's a logistical issue, can that money be rediverted? You know, you're, you're at the state can. level, money can you start putting it to issue. saving schools? The, the, the Congress right. just passed $40 billion with a B dollars for the Ukraine. $40 billion, just like that. How is it then? that we say charity begins at home. Amen. Our children need that money mm. to be safe. We need them to know, the parents need to know that when you drop your child off, your child will be there to be picked up. That's what this is about. This is our future. Absolutely. If you look, we alluded to it in your introduction. If you look at what the left does, they immediately go to guns right away. Uh, there's an NRA convention that you, you spoke at, but many other supporters of the Second Amendment avoided it or canceled going to the NRA. And again, excuse us here, we've got a Black Hawk helicopter coming behind us. And, and, and by the way, Winsome, as a Marine veteran, knows a little bit about this. I love it. Uh, I so love it. It's cool the sound of here. freedom. Sure it is. It is the sound of freedom, for sure. Uh, but some have said, I'm not going to the NRA convention. Is, is, isn't that giving in to the idea that the NRA is part of the problem? You know, when I was at the NRA, I saw mothers and daughters, young, young daughters and grandmothers, and all they want is to be able to protect themselves. The NRA was started by union veterans who saw that the forces were lacking in their skill. And they just wanted to be sure that people would be able to protect themselves as well. And I have a Second Amendment right, you know, uh, to have the, 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 the guns that I have. And nobody's going to take that from me because the first segment of, of a demographic of people who had their guns taken away were black people. Martin Luther King Jr wanted a concealed carry permit, and he was denied because they said he didn't have good character. <laughs> what we learn from history, folks, is that we never learn from history. 
and we're not going back there. But more than that, we have a First Amendment right. This is America. You hear this? It's the sound of liberty. Let's not use the things that have happened to us to divide us anymore. Yeah. Let's just come together because you know what? If we come to find the wrong problem, we're going to come up with the wrong solutions and it's going to continue. That's so, that, that is so true. We have to fathers who aren't, aren't home. We have emasculated our men. Our children are at stake. You notice that these shooters, they have had family problems. The Parkland shooter, 37 times police were called to his home. It's not the gun. I know one of the pieces of this puzzle that we're trying to put together is mental health. And I know that's an issue that hits really close to home. You alluded to it a little earlier when you talked about the tragic death of your daughter. Um, talk to us about mental health and why are people not talking more about that? You know, when my daughter uh, was bipolar and uh, we didn't know that, you know, um, didn't know the signs and I had to go get her from college because she had had a psychotic break. And I, I don't know what to do. And, and one of the times, I, she was in jail because they didn't have a bed for her. So we need, and the governor, again, has put it in his budget, to reopen the, the facilities all around Virginia so that we can help the people, give the citizens the help that they need. Unfortunately, the other side has politicized even that, too. It's like, is this only about an election? Is this only about keeping a seat? The people are suffering, and you're talking about you don't want to give the governor a win. Excuse me, this is our tax money that you're playing with. So you know what I'm going to do? Next year, I'm putting in a bill. Uh, I'm going to find a, a senator or, and a delegate to carry it that tells the people, if you, delegate or senator, don't pass a budget, within the allotted time that the Constitution gives us, then you are going to owe the people of Virginia $500 every day for the first five days that you don't pass a budget, and then $1,000 after that, until you pass a budget. You're going to do your job. You don't, the first thing that we did when we came back into session, May 22nd, when the governor saw there was no action, he, uh, the, the, the senators and the delegates voted themselves pay. They wanted to be paid to do a job they had not yet done. Sounds about standard yeah. for politicians. Yeah. In, in the real world, that doesn't work. Exactly we get right. fired. Right. Yeah. Well, I make it four times since we've been talking Correct. that the Black Hawk has practiced his <laughs> touchdown at the start-finish line, which is where you will be tonight. You're the honorary starter at the yeah. Coca-Cola cool. 600. You'll be waving the green flag to mark today's race and, of course, also yeah. remembering, as you mentioned earlier, here on Memorial Who Day. Who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Yes, I'm a Marine, but they gave the ultimate their life, and we thank God for them. Yeah. Have you ever done anything like standing at the finish line, waving the green flag? I've never done it, and once again I say... You know, God bless America. She has her faults, and we have a saying in church that I may not be what I'm supposed to be, but I ain't what I used to be. And that's America. She's really? come a long way since 1963 when my father came. Here I am, second in command in the former capital of the Confederacy. Yeah. Don't say we haven't gotten anywhere. Don't that burn is, our house that's really, down. Uh, that, that, uh, someone should clip that and put that up. Virginia up. Lieutenant that's Governor really, really Winsome good. Sears, right here on Fox and Friends such this morning. A, Thank you so much. You. Such a pleasure Thank having you, you on. Such Thank an you for honor. your service. America. Thank you. God bless All right. America. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.